Hello everyone and welcome to the series of education programs from Sher Khan. Today uh, in this series we are going to be talking about candlestick charts. So let's let's talk about how do we enlighten our trading with candlestick patterns. So in this first half we are going to be discussing about various types of uh, candlesticks and its analogies and various terminologies which are used and in the second video which will be followed up by this we will be talking about some important candlestick patterns. So what we are going to be learning at the end of today's video, we are going to be looking at introduction to candlestick charts, we are looking at anatomy of a candlestick as to how a can candlestick is uh, kind of developed and then we will also discuss some important uh, terminologies in terms of candlestick psychology. So let's talk about introduction to candlesticks friends as we all know that it's a Japanese technique that's why they are also called as uh, Japanese candlesticks as well and it was invented in Japan few hundreds of years back it's one of the ancient technical analysis technique I would say. It, it said that uh, it has been invented by someone called as uh, Mr. Munehisa Homa and he started trading in commodity uh, by using candlestick charts okay. It's a type of chart which tells you four price points for any given time period so you might be looking at a daily chart or an hourly chart or a weekly chart and so on candlestick will tell you open high low and close okay so let's let's uh, let's have a look at as to how a candlestick is developed so this is how a candlestick look you can just look at the presentation here it has a rectangular body it has a vertical line above and below the rectangular body at one end of the rectangular body you will have the open price at extreme ends on the highest end you will have the highest price and the lowest end you would have the lowest price okay and on the other end of the rectangular body you would have the close price. Now this rectangular body uh, what they say is this is the real essence of the price action and that's called as the real body okay whereas the vertical lines you know above and below the uh, rectangular bodies are called as either shadows or tails or even wicks. So the line above the rectangular body will be called as upper shadow and the line below the rectangular body will be called as lower shadow as you can see it on the picture. Now these are called as emotional extremes. So real body is the main important thing and the candlestick gets its color based on where the prices have closed. Okay, So let us now look at as to how, do, how, how a candlestick gets a color for it. So let us say prices opened uh, on a particular day for a stock at 100 rupees and over a period of time bulls gained some power and at the end of the day prices closed at 110. During the day they created a high at somewhere around say 112 rupees and the low of say 98 rupees. Since close price is more than the open price it shows that bulls were in control and that bullishness is shown with the help of a green color candle. So that's how a green color candle will happen when a close price is above the opening price for that particular time period. As I have said earlier needless to mention this it can be a daily chart or a weekly chart or an hourly chart does not matter. Now exactly opposite of this if prices open at 100 rupees and then they close down at say 90 rupees which shows that the bears are in control that bearishness is shown with the help of a red color candle. So that is how a green color candle and a red color candle will only depend upon where the close price is as compared to the open price and that is why open and close prices both put together which is the rectangular body as I told you is called as the essence of the price action and that is why it is called as the real body as well. Now there is one other type of a typical, uh, uh, typical candlestick uh, pattern or I would say a candlestick uh, anatomy which is called as a doji candle where it what happens is you can just see this presentation on uh, your screen right now prices open at say 100 bulls take the control they go up to 105 then bears come into the picture they put it down back to 95 but at the close they close where they open at 100 rupees. So when your open and close price are exactly similar to each other or I would say identical to each other okay you get a candlestick which is somewhere like a cross sign and that candlestick is called as a doji candle which is nothing else but shows you an indecision it says that buyers and sellers both were fighting for the price action to be on their favor but at the end no one won and it is a kind of complete indecision for the price action. So that is what uh, a doji candle is. Now let us let us end this particular video by looking at some important psychological aspects of a candlestick friends and that is why I think it is one of the most popular techniques or most popular type of charts which traders use for uh, taking their trades. First thing is it allows you to draw out the story. Now 
for understanding anything if it's if it's bullish or bearish if it's going to go up or going to go down what we try to understand is whether there is a high buying pressure or high selling pressure isn't it and candlesticks indirectly you know tell you that so this is how the candlestick is you can see the presentation here this is a green color candlestick which, which means the close is above the open price okay if i have to tell you that candlesticks tell you the buying and the selling pressure for the candle it's very simple the difference from its high to the close price is the amount of selling pressure because if this would not have been there prices would have closed at its high itself and opposite to that the distance from its low to the close price is the amount of buying pressure and as you can see on this particular uh, candle here the buying pressure is much 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 more than the selling pressure and that's why it's a bullish candle and this is not only because the candle is green this can also show you irrespective of the size of the candle irrespective of the color of the candle you will be able to draw the story as to who were the winners were the buyers in control for that candlestick or the sellers were in control and i believe this is one of the most important points for a trader friends because this allows you to understand whether it's a bullish candle or a bearish candle secondly check the color as we already have seen that green color shows bullishness and red color shows bearishness which means you know you can just check any particular chart now i'll just show you a chart live chart on maybe nifty as of now okay this is our trade tiger terminal so you can see that when the prices are going up here you would see a lot more green candles in picture where the prices were going down here when the prices were in a downtrend you know you would see a lot more uh, red candles in picture okay or red candles on the chart so green candles in an uptrend tells you that the bulls are in control and on the other side of it if the red candles are more then when the prices are going down it tells you that the sellers or the bears are in control then size does matter now when we talk about the size of a candle we don't talk about the entire candle from its you know high to its low typically uh, the idea is to see the real body or the rectangular body of the candle and higher the rectangular body or bigger the rectangular body stronger is that movement so if you see in a particular uptrend you know this is a picture of a particular chart I, I don't remember the exact chart here but if you see the picture here when the prices are going up you would see that prices are going up with lot many bigger real bodies that to green color candle which shows you that bulls are in complete control and vice versa in this in this particular downtrend here you would see that the prices were going down with red candles and that too sizably big real bodies for those red candles okay so the size does matter big candles show you the strength in that particular trend it might be up or down whereas small candles show you that the trend is weakening so small candles the 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 shadows might be the emotional extremes can be whatever on the chart but the real body which is the essence of the price action as i told you the open and the close price the size of that real body if it's very small it tells you that there is a lot of indecision and which can be taken as maybe a trend reversal signal now there are various other candlestick patterns which we are going to be discussing in the next video friends okay which we will discuss uh, this particular point but for here just to understand big real bodies tell you that the trend is stronger and small real bodies tell you that the trend is maybe weakening okay last but not the least the tail of tails okay now as i told you the real bodies are the essence of the price action and the shadows are called as the emotional extremes okay these shadows tell us a lot of things so you can see the picture here or the presentation here either a candle can have a long upper shadow or it can have a long lower shadow or it can have maybe you know an equal upper and equal lower shadow now this long upper shadow and long lower shadow if you if you just try to connect that with the buying and selling pressure which we calculated some time back it tells you that the long lower shadow tells you that there is a lot of buying pressure whereas a long upper shadow tells you that there is a lot of selling pressure okay if you if you just look at this candle here on your screen though this is a green candle look at that real body it's very small as compared to the entire uh, length of the candle and in spite of being a green candle this is not a bullish candle friends because if you try to you know try to calculate the buying and selling pressure which we did some time back you would know that the buying pressure is only so much you know from low to its close but look at the selling pressure selling pressure is all the way from the high of that candle to the close of that candle and you would understand 
that bear pressure or the selling pressure is much much stronger or much much more than the buying pressure making it more of a selling candle rather than a buying candle in spite of having a green color. So this is all these four factors friends you know uh, the color, the size and uh, the detail of tails as we uh, as we uh, seen today. In the next video we are going to be discussing some important candlestick patterns which can be used by traders for taking their trades irrespective of the time frame and asset classes. Now if you have any questions you can uh, feel free to put them in our question box in the comment box rather and we will get back to you. Now this is not all about candlestick friends and if you want to know in detail about it you can always go through our Shere Khan classroom videos These are completely free for Shere Khan customers again okay, you can watch the entire video and enlighten your trading with candlestick charts and you can attend our positional trading module for knowing more about it. You will find the comment section I mean you will find the link for Shere Khan classroom in the comment section below. See you in the next module or next video for the candlestick patterns important candlestick patterns for traders. Okay, till then is bye from Rishikesh. Bye bye and take care. All the videos for your trading. Thank you so much.